And we are following that breaking news from the Midlands today. A judge ordered Alex Murdoch to stay in jail. Our Cody Alcorn joining us from the field there live in Columbia. Cody, you've been out there since this morning in the courtroom, and we have learned a lot of new information today. Uh, we really have, Tori, and I'll tell you, I've been in a lot of bond hearings uh, in the past, but I can honestly say I have never witnessed anything like we saw in the courtroom behind me. This is the second time we have seen Alec Murdoch inside a courtroom in the last several weeks, but unlike his court appearance last month down in the low country where those charges stem from that botched suicide attempt that he tried to make look like a homicide so his son could collect his life insurance, Alec Murdoch was not allowed to walk out of this courtroom a free man. And just before he handed down his decision, the judge here, Clifton Newman, a circuit court judge appointed to hear this case, said point blank, he does believe that Alec Murdoch is a danger not only to himself, but also the community. At this time, I have a vote for the man and man at this time. A once prominent low country attorney was walked into the courtroom shackled, his head down a majority of the time. He's charged with two counts of obtaining property by false pretenses. Of course, this stemming from the death of his longtime housekeeper, Gloria Satterfield, in 2018. We learned she tripped over the Murdoch's dogs, fell down those stairs, and later had a stroke while in the hospital. Sled now accuses Murdoch of scheming Satterfield's sons out of more than $3 million, money he promised them but is now accused of stealing and using for his own personal use. He had help, you heard that in the courtroom today, from his longtime friend and fellow attorney, Corey Fleming. The Satterfield family was sitting just feet away from Alec Murdoch during the hearing. Most bond hearings, now keep in mind, are over in a matter of minutes, but this one, it lasted almost an hour with a 15-minute recess. And what's even wilder about this is the state, the Attorney General's office, asked for a $200,000 bond and GPS monitoring. But in the end, in a decision that really surprised many in the courtroom, Judge Newman denied bond for Murdoch, a move Ronnie Richter, one of attorneys representing the Satterfield family, says, well, they're pleased with. Yeah, really surprise and uh, elation, to tell you the truth, that it, uh, it was unexpected for us. Um, I think it was a great day, not just for the Satterfields, but really, really for justice. Because, you know, people worry, uh, people worry in this country that there's two tiers of justice. And you get, you get someone like a Murdaugh in there whose family is very influential. And to see that he was stripped down and forced to answer to charges just like anybody else would have to, I mean, it's reaffirming of the system. So I thought a great day, a great result. And it seemed like a lot of people, including the Satterfields, were happy with this decision. Many thought that he got off too easy in his last court appearance where a judge gave him a PR bond and he was allowed to get out. Now, this is the longest time Murdoch has been in custody and he will remain in custody for an unknown amount of time. Now, he does have to undergo a psych evaluation. That will be happening in the coming days. And we do expect his team, that Harputlian and Jim Griffin, to have another court hearing in the near future. And I'll tell you, one of the most interesting parts of this whole hearing was when the sled agent, his name's Turner, got up, he's working this case, and the judge looked at him and said, are there any other pending cases involving Murdoch that I need to know about? And typically, you don't hear that in a bond hearing. And that agent, the state stopped him for a minute, the AG's office, they kind of discussed a few things, and he came out and said, actually, yeah, Stephen Smith and Gloria Satterfield's deaths have been reopened, and there could be more charges coming in the near future. I thought that was a big play in this hearing because for the last several weeks in these exclusive interviews I've done with Jim Griffin, with Dick Hart Putley, and they say their client has nothing to do with those two death investigations. So as we've been doing, I guess we will wait and see on what happens next in this saga that continues to unfold, Tori. Yeah, Cody, you wonder if um, that slut agent coming forward with that information really played any part into bond being denied today? You know, I will tell you one thing, this judge, he's a circuit court judge, he was appointed, he was very thorough. Uh, you don't often, I've never seen a judge take a recess in a bond hearing to go over the facts of that case. And he wanted to know 
everything about this Murdoch case. And what I'm told by other lawyers is that he wanted to make sure that his decision, the one that he made, he didn't want to go back on and say, well, I didn't know about this or I didn't know this was pending. Uh, so he did take a good 15 minutes to make this decision. And again, the wild part about this is the state who was prosecuting this case asked for a $200,000 bond GPS monitoring. You heard Richter in court wanting a $3.4 million bond. And then Murdoch's attorneys wanted a PR bond, and the judge flat out said that's not happening. But when you have a state, the AG's office said, well, we'll take a $200,000 bond, and the judge comes out and says, no, we're going to deny it. That's something you don't often see in a courtroom. Well, Cody Alcorn, we appreciate that reporting. We'll check back in with you in the next hour or so. Thank you. Now, Alex Murdoch's attorneys spoke after that bond hearing. While they say they disagree with this outcome, his lawyers tell us Murdoch's mental health is better today. You know, I spent, Jim and I spent a year and a half with him and Maggie and Paul uh, when apparently he was on <laughs> Oxycontin and, uh, and opioids. And uh, he seems much more clear-headed today than I've ever seen him. Murdoch's lawyers say they expect to have all of the paperwork for his mental health evaluation in by next week. Of course, we're staying on top of all of these developments in the case, and we'll keep you updated as we learn more.